This guide is going to be trying to explain my thought process when I loot and how to loot efficiently. All of looting is very situational, so take everything here with a grain of salt and always try to use your best judgment. Also, make sure to share any of your own tips in the comments. Let's get into it. But first, if you like these guide videos, it would mean a lot if you subscribed. Alright, now let's get into it. So general rules for looting in groups. When you land on a moon, you should split your team up between the entrances. If you have four people, then two people main and two people fire exit. If you have three people, decide who you want to play solo and that person should go main while the other two go fire. For two people, one person to each entrance. For main people, when you enter through the main entrance, you want to find the network as soon as possible. The network is the path that leads you deeper into the facility or mansion. All other doors at main will be dead ends, but in some rare scenarios, another door can also connect to the network. For mansion, have one player look upstairs and the other look downstairs. Whoever finds the network calls it out to the other player at main. Once the network is found, you should go there to begin looting, and you will save the dead ends in main for later. If you're on a smaller map, like one of the tier 1 moons, you can loot dead ends first and be perfectly fine. For the other larger moons, it is easier to loot deeper before enemies start to spawn, like Jester, and screw you over. Once you do start feeling a bit overwhelmed with enemies, that's when you should loot your dead ends in main. For fire players, when you enter, you are already in the network. Unless you get a case where fire exit is at one of the main entrance dead ends. If this is the case, find the network as soon as possible. Once in the network, determine which wall you will be hugging. The other player you are with, if applicable, should hug the other direction. With each room you enter, clear the room of loot, then go back to hugging your wall. When you come across a stair on your path, it is your preference whether to clear the floor you are on first, or to go up or down the stair. I recommend taking the stair and start to clear the next floor. If it is a library tile like the one shown, I will clear the library of loot before moving upstairs. Once on your new floor, nothing changes. Keep hugging your wall and clearing rooms. When you come across loot, you should place it in the doorway or hallway that you came from. You are using this as sort of a landmark. What is important about this is you're not making tons of trips each time you find a single item in your network. Instead, you are gathering items on your path to reach deeper into the network faster. Whenever you need to get back, hug the opposite direction of your wall if you can't remember the path, or follow your loot. One good rule of thumb, for example, is if you are from fire exit and you run into people from main, skip that area or doorway that leads you to main, and tell the main people to clear up to that area. Eventually, you will have a good stockpile of loot. For three or four people, have one person start transferring this loot to the ship while the other player continues to loot the network. Usually the person who still has a lot of pathways to clear and hasn't looped back to fire yet should not be the one doing the transfers. Same thing for main. If you're playing at your entrance solo, you should determine when to head back based off of how much loot you have, not when your network ends or loops back. If your exit looks like this, you should keep looting. If it looks like this, it's definitely time to transfer. It is good to start transferring around 1 to 3 p.m., but it never hurts to do an early 10 or 11 transfer if you quickly get one big and three small items. Once all your loot is transferred, use your judgment to determine one of the three options. Should I go back to my exit? Usually, if there is still an unexplored area or you need to help your team, you should choose this option. Should I help the other entrance? Pick this option if the other entrance looks like they have a lot of loot or you have no other scrap at your entrance but it is still before like 8 p.m. Or should I play terminal? Pick this option if loot from both entrances are all transferred. Usually, if you find most of your items, it is good to check the monitor and watch players to see if you can spot any unfound scrap. If you see any, do your best to go back inside and try and get it. All right, so I'm gonna be showing the clearing methods on experimentation main, just as an example. I'm gonna be hugging right for this. So I'm gonna be just hugging this right wall keep going I'm not worried about anything else currently I'm keeping in mind that since I'm immediately into the network that I'm gonna have dead ends made to clear later on I see the stair I'm gonna go up that's all clear Alright, I find this key, and I just saw that locked door, so 
So I'm gonna go open this. I have loot. Not keeping this loot on me so I can loot slightly faster. So if I'm carrying that loot while I'm looking at all these lockers and areas, it's gonna slow me down. Now one thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking this loot back to where I entered all this network. So really quickly, just hugging left, and I'm taking it right here. That's just a good memorable point for me. I'm gonna do these two items the same way. Just gonna quickly take them back. Now what's good is if your teammates come across this, they can be grabbing this loot so that way you, you can play deeper and not have to worry about, you know, transferring the loot yourself. Since you know the progress, you should be playing the progress. And your teammates should be playing to help you. Obviously, it's the same thing for your teammates. If your teammates know the progress, you gotta play for your teammates, you gotta get their loot. So here, I loop back at my loot. Now is when I would just grab this and start walking it back a little bit more. Obviously, I'm keeping that locked door earlier for in mind. So now I'm just going to be walking this back. Here, I'm just going to drop those two items there. M9 needs to be open. That could be my path to fire, since I haven't seen fire yet. And then, boom, that is all of that clear, just by hugging right. Obviously, I still have that locked door all the way back if I really wanted to worry about it. In a four-man, you definitely would, right? Just because... I'm using this as an example, I'm not going to worry about it. So I loop back, I have no more progress there. Still hugging my right. I go across this jump. Dead end. Key. So I just found that key. I'm probably the only one on the team that knows about that locked door all the way over there, so I should go unlock that door while my team transfers the loot for me. And that's just use as scenario. Now we're looting our last dead end, and there's fire exit. So I would take this stuff to main, I'd loot this room, and then I'd be done. I'd just transfer. That's it. That's me full clearing experimentation. Because I don't play solo, I asked my buddy Cynic to give me some points to talk about. Make sure to check them out, they're a great player. For solo, you want to have the same mindset of finding where the network is and getting loot deep before a lot of enemies spawn. After about gathering 8 or more items in the network, try to bring it all back to main and loot your dead ends. Transfer these items back to the ship and depending on if you have time and if you generally know where progress is, you can decide if you want to go back in and greed for more loot. One thing to note is if you're playing solo titan, you never really want to enter the network or tunnel system for the brick rooms. If you are forced to enter, well, good luck. For solo, you want to go to the closest exit. For example, Assurance, you want to go to Fire first. If you have extra time, you can go to Main after. And Rend, you should go to Main and only ever go to Fire if there's a lot of time left. In solo, you are trying not to go as deep into the network as if you were playing with a group. And in general, looting is going to be the same pattern as described above. Some final notes on actually finding loot. You should always check your corners for every room. Loot is easily missed because of this. Also, it is good practice to always scan on terminal to know how many items are on the moon. There's a lot to cover here, so I'm sorry if something slipped my mind, but any other tips you have, please leave in the comments for others. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.